what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new here welcome to my channel so today you guys we are going to be reviewing a new viral dupe house by the name of mimic i believe that's how you pronounce it i will put a picture on the screen of the website and things like that basically this is a, another perfume dupe house but the reason that this one is currently trending i believe is because there is some video on tiktok that's going viral of a girl who found a couple of these scents so I went into my local TJ Maxx and found them, you guys. These scents do retail on the brand's website for about $50 to $60, I believe, for these same exact sizes that I picked up. I found them in my local TJ Maxx for $12.99, so y'all know I had to scoop them up and talk about them and let you guys know what I think. So, also y'all, please excuse the glare on my glasses. I'm literally directly in front of a window, so my apologies, but we're going to start with one of the scents that I actually did not pick up, which is their Compound 66. It's called Incense wood and it is their compound of Lilabo Centaur 33. Now if you guys have been following me you guys know I recently just decluttered a dupe of Santal 33 and I've just realized I'm just not really the biggest fan of those type of scent notes together. Um, I do typically like woody fragrances but I like more woody gourmand fragrances or fruity woody fragrances and that was definitely more of just like a very smoky woody fragrance. I did not pick it up. It is reminiscent of smoke and leather. This unisex fragrance uses cardamom, iris, and violet blended with cedar, Australian sandalwood, and leather. Spicy and smoky, this unisex fragrance is the perfect choice for a mysterious date night. And yeah, you guys, that's literally the vibe that I got from that scent. Like, if you don't like those kind of incense woody, like wood chip type of smells, you will not like that one. I do appreciate it for what it was. Like it smelled like it was a nice fragrance. It, it just wasn't a fragrance I knew I would wear to put it mildly. So it just really had that very, you know, woody, incense -y opening and it just kind of dried down into like this powdery, woody, wood chips type of vibe. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really care for that one, um, but I, do, I can see how people may like that one if you like that type of scent profile. I would definitely say that one is unisex as well, but again, you have to really like those type of scent notes. Now on to number seven. 79. This is what the bottle looks like. I love these bottles, you guys, first of all, because this is kind of like a standard full size perfume. It is 1.7 fluid ounces, but the way that the bottle is, it's the packaging, it makes this look so much more sleek and easy to store. So I really, really love this because this is literally the same amount of fluid that you would get in a standard size perfume bottle. It just seems like a little bit less because of how it looks, but I just think these will be great for storage purposes. And Mimic Compound 79 is a blend of cherry, vanilla, and wood, and it has an oil concentration of 20%, so it is considered an eau de parfum. It is technically stronger than eau de toilette and the body spray and things like that. So on the website, this is said to be a compound of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It is a classic gourmand. This full body fragrance opens with a boozy black cherry and bitter almond notes before giving way to a luscious blend of Turkish rose and jasmine sambac. A tonka bean base lends this sexy and sophisticated scent the perfect hint of sweetness. Y'all, spoiler alert, I love this one, okay? Love, love, love this one, okay? So just backtrack. So I personally don't feel like this is a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I can see how it is inspired by that scent, but I would not say that this is a dupe. I feel like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry definitely has kind of that boozy, rich, dense, thick syrupy, almost borderline cough syrupy, sweet type of scent. And with this one, you guys, I definitely get a very even blend of cherry and almonds from the moment that I spray it until the dry down. It's just so creamy and soft, but at the same time, this has a nice amount of projection. And y'all, this lasts on me at least six or seven hours, maybe even eight. I definitely got a few hours of wear out of this one and I was pleasantly surprised. This gives me more of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry with like Ariana Grande's Cloud. And that prompted me to compare this to two other scents in my collection, which I feel it smells very similar to. The first one being Guest Seductive Red. I have talked about this scent a few times on my channel before and I pretty much describe it as cherry <laughs> almondy version of Ariana Grande's Cloud. That is kind of what it smells like to me. Definitely has, I would say, a more prominent cherry note. This one is definitely sweeter than the Compound 79, but I do feel like they are very, very similar in scent. It also reminds me of the Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber scent. It kind of has that 
very creamy cherry almond type of scent but then there's some musk in the base and i definitely get that same like kind of musky quality in here i don't see musk listed as a note for this but I'm definitely getting something very musk. It's like a very sweet musk, if that makes sense. It could be how the almond is, is mixed in there, but again, this is just a very creamy. Cherry isn't overwhelming. If you feel like you're one of those people that doesn't like cherry scents, I think this would be a great one to try because the cherry isn't so boom in your face. It's very well blended. One of you guys commented on my community post yesterday and said that this smelled like the Jergens cherry cherry almond lotion and I can definitely agree with that it smells very similar to that as well so yeah if y'all you know if y'all like the smell of that definitely check this one out I recommend this one it has great longevity and for this to only be at $12.99 y'all like I would even consider possibly paying full price for this but I'm just happy that I found it for $12.99 so yeah that is the Mimic Compound 79 Tom Ford Lost Cherry Inspired Dupe on to the most controversial one, right? Little Miss 52, okay? 52 is their strawberry milk. It says a blend of sweet strawberry milk, okay? Eau de Parfum oil concentration 20%. And this is supposed to be a dupe for a very old, well, I won't say very old, but an older fragrance by Melanie Martinez called Cry Baby Milk. And, um... I have smelled that perfume before a really long time ago, but I have not, I can't even tell you if this is a spot on dupe for that y'all because I have not smelled that perfume in so long. I can say that it smells similar to what I remember, but I would not feel comfortable saying this is a spot on dupe. And if you guys did not know, it is discontinued and people on Mercari are selling it for like thousands and thousands of dollars and girl, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna be speaking on what the fragrance itself smells like, this juice smells like, and then I'm gonna be comparing it to the Fragrantica um, notes of the OG Crybaby Milk and just kind of walking you guys through my thoughts. And I have grabbed a few perfumes that this reminds me of. So girl, let's just jump into it. So this one is super controversial for me right now, y'all, because this is probably the most popular one on TikTok because everyone has been dying to get their hands on the original Melanie Martinez strawberry milk. And um, I don't know, this is not doing it for me, okay? I'm going to tell you guys why, but let me just go ahead and jump into what it smells like. As you guys can see, I have put a nice dent in here compared to the other one. And that is because the minute that I spray this, you guys, first of all, let me tell you all the notes on the website. It says the most requested dupe in the history of Mimic. Our number 52 sweet strawberry milk is our version of Melanie Martinez's Crybaby. This fruity gourmand blends together top notes of strawberry, lipstick, plum, and raspberry with middle notes of milk, lotion, and baby powder. The dry down blends caramel, sugar cubes, and amber, and this unique scent goes on soft and sweet with a surprisingly sophisticated dry down sure to grab compliments, right? Sounds right up my alley. I love a good powdery scent. I love a good strawberry scent. Like I love caramel, I love amber. It sounds like a dream. It sounds like a dream. Okay, here is where it went wrong for me, y'all. In comparison to the 79, this one I could only really smell the top notes for maybe about, I don't know, two minutes. And it instantly fades into a skin scent and I had to continuously spray it to see what the rest of the notes were and what the rest of the fragrance smelled like, if that makes sense. So they definitely had it spot on when they said this unique scent goes on soft and sweet. It's very soft. It's literally a skin scent. You have to get right up on your skin, like right up on your skin to smell yourself. So this is definitely intimate wearing this. If you really don't care if anyone smells you or not, like, I don't know, girl, this might be one of those scents you wear for yourself, girl. I don't know. But as far as what it smells like in the opening, y'all, opens with like this blast of kind of like a very artificial strawberry powder type of scent. Like I definitely, it smells almost kind of like Nesquik strawberry instant milk powder. But then I also start to get a little bit of a sour fruit note and that could be the raspberry or the plum, but it kind of starts turning into like this sour candy smell. And I don't know, when it's into me wearing it, it turns into a skin scent. And then as it dries down, I really wouldn't even say it turns into a strawberry milk scent. I feel like it turns into like 
a strawberry baby powder and soap smell like it just smells kind of like this soapy baby powder which they said baby powder is in the notes but there's also i think jasmine in here so that could be why there is like this soapy quality about it but it just smells like a strawberry baby powder type of scent if that makes sense to me like it's not the strawberry milk scent that I was anticipating um especially when I looked at the other perfumes that it was compared to on Fragrantica which we're going to talk about but yeah this is an interesting scent to say the least so now let's just jump into the scents that this reminded me of when I first first smelled it the first scent that it reminded me of you guys when I sprayed it is Cacharelle's Yes I Am which this is a scent that I love this is a scent that it is compared to on Fragrantica as well this is what it reminded me of instantly in the opening except the difference is with this you guys this is sexy this is like that milky berry scent done right but there's some added spicy notes and added gourmand notes in here that i feel like really elevates this one and these are around the same price point and this just to me is so much better like if i wanted to wear something in this type of scent profile i would for sure go for this i love this scent i've talked about it in a few videos and yeah i just prefer this one over this scent it just has more depth more density there's cardamom in here there's ginger in here jasmine like this is just a sexier version of this basically also lasts longer another perfume that it reminded me of when i smelled it was giorgio armani c fiori which this is another fragrance that i love but c fiori just lasts so much longer the performance is better and it just maintains that sweet girly bubbly fruity note that's also a little bit powdery. Like I feel like this could have potentially been inspired by the Melanie Martinez scent at some point, but this is also discontinued. So I just feel like this is done so much better. I do have very similar vibes. If you have ever smelled this and you're curious like what scent family this particular scent is in. The last scent you guys, it reminded me of is Pink Sugar Red Velvet or even the original Pink Sugar, honestly, because that opening note it kind of opens up with that same super artificial strawberry note and it also kind of has the same creaminess in here but i feel like with this fragrance in the original pink sugar they last longer they're pretty much beast mode at least on me and they're just so much more dense and thick and syrupy sweet and they aren't skin scents whereas like i said this one is very much a skin scent and i really only get that thick sweetness like right in the opening when I get that very artificial strawberry note and then it just fades into something like so light and powdery and soapy now, lastly you guys there are two other scents actually there's three other scents so it was also compared to Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth which I personally don't think it smells like Sweet Tooth because Sweet Tooth to me just smells kind of like a soft like cocoa powder and marshmallow type of scent it is it is equally as soft as Sweet Tooth, I would say. Smell Sweet Tooth a little bit longer on my skin and it smells a little bit stronger than this scent. So if you feel like Sweet Tooth too light, this one will definitely be too light for you. It was also compared to Yara, which you guys, I've done a full review on this fragrance and my thoughts, I will link that video up top. But spoiler alert, if you guys did not see that, I wasn't like a huge fan of this one. I don't think it smells bad, but everyone was saying that this one smelled like strawberry milk as well. And for me, I don't know that I smell strawberry milk. I get something more along the lines of like pineapple or a tropical fruit. And then I get kind of like this buttery, like pastry note. I don't know. This one, it just, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really a lover of it. A lot of people think this one smells like strawberry milk and I personally don't think it does, so that could be why this particular scent doesn't smell like strawberry milk, girl. I don't know. But if you like Yara, you might possibly like this, whereas I'm not really impressed by it. And last but not least, y'all, it was compared to my bae, my love, one of my most worn scents last year, Burberry Her Elixir. Y'all, listen, at first when I saw the comparison, I was like, girl, they is not, they're not about to try my Burberry like that. but. I can, I can see it. I can see it. I definitely would not say it's a dupe, 
But what it really reminds me of is in the opening of this one, like I said, it does open with kind of like that strawberry syrup type of smell. And Burberry Her Elixir absolutely has a very syrupy strawberry note in the opening, but this scent is just sexy. It's just got so much more depth and layers and Y'all know this is beast mode, at least on me. I've heard some people say that it's not on them, but again, it does come down to your body chemistry and this is a great performing fragrance for me. So I just love this one and it's just, it's my girl, it's my girl, okay? I have not smelled any of those perfumes and you still want a further point of reference. I would say that this reminds me a lot more of scents like Velvet Sugar or like Pink Chiffon. If you're thinking of Bath and Body Works scents, I would not personally say this smells like Strawberry Snowflakes. That's like the most compared to scents on Fragrantica, but I don't really think this smells like Strawberry Snowflakes. It doesn't bring me as much joy as Strawberry Snowflakes does. And it also doesn't really smell like Strawberry Pound Cake to me either, which those are two scents you would think that it would smell like, but like I said, I think it has more of that artificially sweet smell like Pink Chiffon does and Velvet Sugar does, and I love both of those scents, but this I don't feel the same way about. This just gives me like, if Tinkerbell had a signature scent, it would be this because you could barely smell it, but when you do smell it, it does smell cute and fluffy and girly. So girl, I don't know. If you're about that, then by all means, you might wanna try this out, but I'm not really impressed with it right now, you guys. I'm not really impressed with it. Overall, I don't mind it for the fact that I paid $12. I definitely would not pay the websites $54 for this at all. Um, but I just feel like I have at least five or six perfumes in my collection I would opt to wear if I'm in the mood to wear a scent like this. So of course, I will have all of the other recommendations that I've mentioned in the description box. Those are just so much better. And I personally think this is the best of them all if you are wanting to capture that true Melanie Martinez um, crybaby milk type of scent. I feel like this is the closest thing that I have smelled to it from what I remember. If you are wanting a true berry milk scent that is a little bit sexy with some depth, um, or just wear any of those other Bath and Body Works scents that I've mentioned, y'all. Like, they're all so much better to me. This one is just the performance, the scent itself. I'm just not really seeing the hype with it. But if you guys have seen this in your stores and you guys have tried it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. Oaksha's dupe of this perfume before I recommend the Mimic version, just because I feel like Oaksha scents definitely last longer and they have a little bit more depth and projection to them. So I have not had an Oaksha perfume that I'm disappointed by yet. Um, but yeah, I personally would not recommend this one, but I do want to try some more fragrances from this dupe house because the 79, I love that one. So if more of the scents in their house represent that perfume, I definitely would love to find more of these. My local TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I also forgot to mention, you guys, the one that was a dupe of Santal 33, I actually found that one in Marshalls. The other two I found in TJ Maxx. So hopefully we start to see more of these popping up in stores so we can try a few different ones. But that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please stay tuned for my empties as well as some other videos. I'm a little backed up one right now. So thank y'all so much for your patience. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.